protein never tasted so good. It's actually hard to believe it's fit in me. It's delicious. It tastes like real pudding. It definitely feels like I'm cheating on my diet. <laughs> I love it. 15 grams of protein, only 100 calories, sugar and lactose free. Fit and lean power pack pudding. What's up guys, Yasara Robas here, IBB Bikini Pro, and I'm here with Jessica Renee, IBB Bikini Pro. We are here at Get Fit Fitness here in Fairfield, New Jersey. We're presenting MHP, and we're about to do a workout for you guys to try at home. Well, actually at the gym. <laughs> Some hands and glutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some leg curls, and then from here, we're gonna superset with some high jumps. So we're gonna do 20 reps, and then we're gonna do 20 jumps, and we'll just, you know, keep that high rate up and stuff, and we'll go up and wait, too. Okay. This is a super intense workout for the glutes and hamstrings that combines both traditional weightlifting and plyometric movements. What plyo means is that we will be doing explosive jumping movements in between sets of weight training. It's a great way to get your heart rate up, burn fat, and shape your legs all at the same time. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Go. I do this as part of my weekly routine whenever I'm getting ready for a competition. I'm introducing Jessica Renee to this training method today. Let's see how well she does with it. So, what we're going to do here with the leg press, we're going to keep our toes a little bit over the edge. We're gonna work on that ham area right over here between your glutes and your ham. So you're gonna shout. We'll start with 50 and we'll work ourselves up. So we'll do 20. And then we're gonna superset it with some pop squats, okay? All the way down. Good. Try to keep moving quickly from weights to piles and back again. It's easier to pace yourself if you have a partner. She can be doing one exercise while you are doing the other. And it's just more fun to work out with a friend. There you go. <laughs> go ahead, see? Cool. We're going up in weight. We're gonna go up to 90. We don't have to do 20. We could do uh, 10 to 12 or 12 to 15. Five, good. Six, seven. Do five more. One, two, three. Two, come on. This was the first time that Jessica had ever tried half ball jumps, and you can see that it took her a few minutes to get the hang of it. Any of you trying these exercises on your own, I just want to say, take your time. If it feels awkward at first, that's normal. Watch the video, study the way I do it, and I'm sure that you will get it eventually, just like Jessica Renee did. So it's pretty much like this exercise here is like, you pretend you're jumping on the ball. So you're like, straight up, bam. Now we're on to the next. <laughs> So just, just pull it out, just keep your feet together and get comfortable. Pull out the bar, 
Keep your feet straight. Now just bring one over. You can even put it here or on your toes, whatever feels comfortable for you. And now sit on it, on your butt. There we go. And up. Like, so it's like you're hitting this part right here. There we go. Go. You don't have to go all the way down. It's just as long as you feel it right there, up and down. Be sure to use weight that works for you. Going too light means you won't be working the muscle enough. If you put too much weight on, you won't be able to perform the exercise correctly, which brings an increased risk of injury. Here's a good tip for busy people. If you can't get to the gym, just put on some good music, take the plyo portion of this workout, and do it in your living room. There's always a way to get the job done. I like that hard <laughs> core feeling, and I like the burning pain. <laughs> Not everyone has to train this hard. I'm a pro, and it's my job. But if you are just starting out, you can scale this workout back for your current abilities. Use lighter weights, do less repetitions, or less rounds. Whatever you need to make it manageable for you. But you always try to push yourself a little harder each time you do it. That's the only way to get results. What's next? Well, we got like 10 more exercises, and then we're done. <laughs> <laughs> No way. We're staying here for two hours. <laughs> Your Syro <Sarah> workout. <laughs> we're almost done with our workout. So what we're going to do is we're going to do walking lunges. We're going to jump back. We're going to do pop squats. We're going to do narrow jumps. And we do switch lunges. And we're going to do three rounds. OK? You ready? Ready. <laughs> So now we're in the home stretch. We are almost done, so you have to give it everything you got for this final burn. I do this all the time, and even I had a hard time with this workout. Good. Don't feel bad if you can't do it all the first time you try this. Ease into it, stick with it, be patient, work hard, eat well, have fun, and I guarantee you will see results. I'll be bringing you more MHP Extreme Workouts very soon, so subscribe to the MHP Strong YouTube page to get a notification every time we post a new video. Ah, it burns. <laughs> We're done. For more bodybuilding and fitness related videos, go to mhpstrong.com or like our Facebook page. Just click on the links below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever we post a new video. Within every athlete, there is a need for excellence. The need forces you to demand the absolute best from your mind, body, and soul. It refuses to quiet, urging flawlessness and supremacy, resulting in astonishing accomplishments. It requires sacrifice, dedication, determination, and the near impossible. The hunger motivates you to push a little harder train a little longer, and focus a little more intensely. It stretches your boundaries and compels you to take on bigger, better, and bolder challenges. No matter what the sport, it is every athlete's greatest passion, the pursuit of perfection.